Hello guys, welcome back to Code 4. In this video, we will be solving paper 2 of IGCSE Computer Science and the paper code is 0478-22-May-June-20. Let's move on to the first question. So, for the first question in section B, most programming languages include basic data types. Ahmed is describing the basic data types he has used. Store the data type state the data type that Ahmed is describing in each of the sentences. We have to choose the correct answer from these list. First, a number with a fractional part that can be positive or negative and is used in calculations. It is a real number. A whole number that can be positive, negative or zero and is used in calculations. That is an integer. A single number, ca single number symbol or a letter that is a character, a sequence of characters, that is a string, a data type with two values, true or false, that would be a boolean data type. Next question. An algorithm has been written in pseudocode to input the names and marks of 35 students. The algorithm stores the names and marks in two arrays, name and mark. The highest mark awarded is found and the number of students with the mark is counted. Both of these values are outputted. So take your time and read this code. Now give, give line numbers where 4 er errors are to be found in the pseudocode. Suggest a correction for each error. First, first error is on line 1. The highest mark has to be 0, so that whenever the mark is greater than 0, it would become that number. So for example, the first mark input is being 63, it's from 0 it becomes 63. Then after that, the next mark is compared to 63, so that if it is greater, it is made to the highest mark. Error line number 2, line 7. In line 7, instead of input mark counter, it has to be input mark square brackets count. And the third error, in line 10, in, instead of being highest mark students is highest mark students minus 1, it has to be highest mark students equals highest mark students plus 1 because we are increasing every time the student gets the highest mark. Then at line 14, instead of being highest mark highest mark uh, mark count is highest mark it should be highest mark equals mark count then moving on to the b subdivision explain how you could extend the algorithm to find the lowest mark awarded count the number of students with that mark and output both of these values so instead of highest for example the last one was highest mark was zero and it got incremented here it has to be 100 and that and has to be decreased so let us take the same example if the mark input is 63 it would become 63 and if it is lower than that it would become that mark else it would stay 63 that way we can find the lowest mark of all the values in the array then another lowest value lowest mark students is declared and its value is 0 then we are creating an if condition if mark of count is less than lowest mark, lowest mark equals count and lowest mark students is equals to 1. So what we mean in this, what we mean by this code is that if the, if the mark being entered is lower than the lowest mark, it will become the lowest mark and since no other student has gotten the that lowest mark, the lowest mark students will go back to 1. Then an end if. Then, if mark of count equals to lowest, lower mar, lowest mark, lowest mark students equals lowest mark students plus 1. And if, what we are doing here is we are incrementing the number of, we are incrementing the lowest mark students value if the mark of the student and the lowest mark is equal. Then we are outputting, when, then we are outputting the lowest mark and the lowest mark students. 
Moving on to the fourth question. This flowchart inputs the points won and the points lost when playing a game. The difference between the points won and lost is calculated and depending on the result, the player can move up to the next level, stay on the same level or move down to the previous level. The flowchart finishes when the input for points won is minus 1. So first the flowchart starts. Then we get an input of points won and points lost. If the input of points won is minus 1, the program ends. Else, the difference between points won and points lost is found. If the difference is greater than 1000, you move up a level. Else, if it is less than 0, you move down a level. If it is between 0 and 1000, you are on the same level. And the outputs are, when you reach the next level, well done, move up. When you go down a level, sorry, move down. When you are on the same level, keep on trying. Let's see the truth. Let's see the trace table. The first value of first points one input is 5000 and the points lost input is 4074. Let us fill all the readings up until minus one as the program starts at minus one. So 6055 and 2000. 7900 and 9800, 3000 and 2150, minus 1 and then 6700. Then we subtract points 1 and points loss to get the difference 526, 4055, minus 1900 and 850. As 526 is between 0 and 1000, you are on the same level, so the output will be keep on trying. Here, as the output is great, difference is greater than 1000. We will write, well done, move on to the next level. Here, it is lower than 0, so sorry, move down. Here, it is between 0 and 1000, so keep on trying. And for the last one, points one value is 0, so the program ends there. Moving on to the B subdivision. The flowchart needs to be changed. When the difference is more than 5000, the output message is fantastic, leap up two levels. Describe the changes that will need to be made to the flowchart. So we have to add an extra decision box before checking if the difference is greater than or equal to 1000. In the decision box, we have to enter if the value is greater than 5000 and add an extra output, fantastic leap up two levels before the flow line returns to output. Moving on to the first question. Arrays are data structures used in programming. Explain what is meant by the terms dimension and index in an array. Use examples of array in your explanations. Dimension A dimension is the number of indexes requires, required to access an element. In a, in a 1D array, there is only one index to access an element. What is index? Index is a position of an element in an array. For example, student underscore name is a one dimensional array and the name and it stores the name of the students. To access the fifth element in the array, student underscore name square brackets 5 will be used. Moving on to the last and sixth question. A database table juice is used to keep a record of cartons of fresh juice available for sale. 6a. Identify the suitable field to be used as the primary key. State the reason for your choice. The field will be juice code and the reason is it is the only unique identifier available. 6b. Complete the query by example grid to display only the stock level and size of all cartons containing only apple juice. So the fields required are fruit 1, fruit 2 to make sure it is only apple in the juice. Then field the next field will be size and the next one is stock level. The table is juice for everything. Then we only have to show size and stock level as they only asked to display only the stock level and size of all cartons. Then the criteria is apple for both fruits because all the cartons containing only apple juice is required.